It's really kind of simple and complicated. The world changes, and it seems like quicker every day. The biggest reason, technology. As it travels at warp speed, we are forced to look and think and wonder where it's going. Enter Project Lead the Way and the school it serves. If we didn't have schools, would we create what we have? And I have yet to run into anybody who with a straight face would say, absolutely, this is perfect. What we have is really well matched for what we need in society or for that matter, what we need for our economy. The goal is simple and complex. Create a curriculum that challenges the kids through that technology. Here they do it with different tools. It, well, in some instances, there's literal tools. We have a CNC machine in the back that I'm not aware of another high school in this district that has a full operational CNC machine. And the CNC machine essentially is a computer-controlled mill that will ma manufacture parts based off a computer input. So you write a code and it will machine a part for you as opposed to doing a part by hand. Don't feel bad, I didn't understand that either. But what you do figure out is that he has some lofty goals and he can reach some by going through this program. The tools I've learned here at Lakeview, I'm taking next year to the Rose Holman Institute of Technology in Terre Haute, Indiana, where I'll be doing a lot of research study in the field of engineering as well as your traditional classwork as an undergraduate expects. And then after college, I'm hoping to work for uh, NASA to advance their robotics program. And the end goal for me personally is I want to help be part of the team that first puts man on Mars they come for different reasons with different objectives. But the unique methodology of teaching is what is common. It's not when will we go back to the new normal. There is no normal anymore. It's actually what will the new normal look like. And if we start to ask ourselves that question, what will this new normal look like for the future of our children and learners, I think we'll have a better place in redesigning, restructuring, refocusing our schools to help improvement and to give students the skill sets to be proficient and to be able to go out in college and career ready. In the younger years, like kindergarten, they start the model. We actually start with kindergartners and teach them what's called early structures. And they go through, they think they're playing, and I always say I have the best job in the world because what other job do you have when you walk through the room and you're like, yay! <laughs> but I get that experience every day when I walk in the room. And the kindergartners think they're playing, but they're actually learning early engineering principles that actually will later relate to the program that they're going to do in middle school. The truth is, they are all in uncharted waters because the future keeps getting different every day. You know, we're preparing students for jobs that haven't even been created yet, to work on technology pieces that aren't around and existing. The world is just changing so much faster, and so we have to have students that are prepared and ready to adapt to different occupations and, you know, demands placed on them. For some, the goal is to be able to eventually teach what they are learning to the next generation. Um, well, I actually want to be a tech ed teacher, so I want to actually teach the classes that we're learning here. And I think that having all of this at our disposal is really critical because there are some students who don't necessarily have this. And I know for a lot of students, having some form of career or technical occupation that they can kind of dig into and have a lot of fun with is a really great way to help find a career path. What they are finding is that it doesn't matter what you choose to do, it's more effective if you learn it beyond a book. I wouldn't say as much as learning faster, but learning with more depth and understanding. So, for example, in math, they learn about gear ratios with Lego vehicles and gearing up and gearing down before they really learn ratios as a math concept. And so when they get to it in math, and you can talk about you counted the teeth on the big gear and you counted the teeth on the little gear and you knew it was a one to five ratio. Oh, then it makes sense in math because they have that real world application to apply it to. Years ago they would talk about hands-on. Now it's hands-on directly connected to your brain. So the hands-on jobs mean you have to be technologically advanced. You have to apply the principles of math and science to technology, engineering, manufacturing. And, and that's what's changed. We have more jobs than we have people available in this country for the jobs. And that's the idea. Make sure they know they are on course through these courses. 
It's not that the people in all education walks are not trying to find solutions, they all are. This isn't about people who don't care or aren't trying. In fact, I mean, most people who are close to education would say educators today are probably working harder and under more pressure than at any time in history. This isn't a matter of people are lazy or aren't trying. They're trying their best. They're just trapped in a system that doesn't have the capacity to do what it is we need it to do. And so they want to find out what works if they are allowed to rediscover. I think the new normal is going to look like different from when potentially you and I went to school. And when I think of that, uh, when, when I went to school, it was basically the four academic core areas, math, science, social studies, and English. And now I think the new normal is definitely involving more of what we call the four C's, collaboration, critical thinking, competency skills, meaning you know, academic skills are still important, uh, innovativeness, creativeness, uh, all of those other areas that need to be developed within the instructional model. Schools are paying attention to the marketplace and parents are paying attention to the marketplace. Every parent in this country wants their child to have an education and be able to make a living that, uh, that they, they can live, live a, a, a pretty decent life. And that means today you have to have skills. Maybe they will take us into tomorrow. They seem to enjoy the potential of what could be. The only downside in these parts? The one downside is there, any, there isn't any sports teams. So <laughs> they get a little perturbed about that. You made a user frame up here already? Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a lifetime.